this video we're going to learn how to find the new balance at the end of a month. Let's look at this question. On April 1st, the unpaid balance in an account was $150. A payment of $50 was made on April 7th. On April 25th, a $26 purchase was made. The interest rate per month was 1.75% per month. Find the new balance at the end of the month of April. In order to find this, we're going to apply the average daily balance method. So this question becomes easier if you think about it in terms of your own account. Think of this as your credit card account. So every day as you make purchases, your balance at the end of the day changes. So before you get started, you will need to know how many days are there in the month of April. So in April, we have 30 days. So April has 30. So this is the first thing you must decide. How many days are there in any given month in your question? Next, let's pretend we're keeping a tab on the daily purchases. So on April 1st, you had an account balance of 150. There was no activity until April 7th. So on April 7th, there was a payment of $50, meaning your balance went from 150 to $100 on the night of April 7th. Then there was no activity until April 25. So on April 25, there was a purchase of $26 made. Hence, at the end of the night, you would have seen 100 plus 26 equals $126 balance in your account. And there seems to be no more activities till the end of April. Now, you're also told that the interest rate per month was 1.75% using the average daily balance method. So in order to find this number, the average daily balance method, you need to add the sum of unpaid balances divided by the number of days in a billing cycle. Now let me show you how you can figure this out. So here, April 1st, there was a balance of $150. This amount is what was reflected on the end of April 1st, end of April 2nd, end of April 3rd, all the way to April 6th. So April 1st till April 6th, there are six days. So you're going to multiply 150 by six. So in your calculator, you should get 900. Now your balance on April 7th in your account showed up as $100. So from April 7th until April 25, there was no other activity. Hence, you're going to count from April 7th until April 24. So there is a total of 18 days. Okay, so 1,800. Next, on April 25th, there was a purchase of $26 made. So at the end of the day, on April 25th, when you logged into your account, you saw the balance of 126. Now, April, we said, has 30 days. So from 25, you are going to count until April 30th. That's six days. Now, we're going to multiply 126 by 6. So in your calculator, you should get 756. The sum of unpaid balances basically means you're going to add up 900 to 1800 to the 756. So in this formula, the numerator will be equal to 900 plus 1800 plus 756. I would also recommend doing another check since we were multiplying the number of days. You need to also make sure that you have counted 30 days. So 6 plus 6 is 12, 12 plus 18 equals to 30 days. So again, if you're working on a problem, you want to make sure that the number of days is correct. All we did is we counted until the next activity occurred. So here for numerator, you should get 3, 4, 5, 6. Now the denominator in your formula says number of days in a billing cycle. So we said April has 30 days. Thus, the answer you'll get is 115.2. Okay. Now using this average daily balance, you're going to multiply the 115.2 to the interest rate charged. So you have the interest rate is 1.75% per month. So 1.75 divided by 100 equals 0 0.0175. Thus, for the month of April, the interest that was charged on your account equals 
2.016. So if 2.016 is the interest charge for the month of April, and you had a balance of $126 showing up on April 30th, that means your new balance is equal to the interest charge plus the balance, hence 128.016. So your new balance at the end of April is $128 and around two cents. So again, let's review what we have done here. So as per the question, on April 1st, you had a balance of $150. A payment was made on April 7th of $50. So from April 1st till April 6th, at the end of the day, your account showed a balance of 150. So 150 multiplied by six equals to 900. Now on April 7th, since there was a payment of $50 made, end of the day on April 7th, you had a balance of $100 showing up on your account. Now until April 25th, there was no other activity. So from April 7th until April 24, that's 18 days. So 100 times 18 equals to 1800. Now on April 25, there was a $26 purchase made. So end of the day on April 25, your account had a balance of $126. And then from April 25 until April 30th, there was no other activity. So you start counting the number of days. So April 25 until April 30th, that is six days. So 126 multiplied by six. Now the reason we're getting these numbers is because we're trying to find the numerator in your formula. The numerator is the sum of unpaid balances and in order to find that we are hence following this method. So 900 plus 1800 plus 756 equals to 3456. Now divided by the denominator here says number of days in a billing cycle. So in April we have 30 days so that gives us 115.2. Now using this amount we're going to multiply it to the interest rate for the month, which is 1.75%. So 1.75 divided by 100 equals 0 0.0175. So when you multiply that, at the end of April, you're charged $2.02 .02 on your account. On April 31st, your account had a balance of $126. So $126 plus the interest rate for the month equals $128 and two cents. So this is the balance at the end of April.